Boom. All righty. It's nice to be back home doing a normal show, you know? It's been a while since I've done it in my house, actually. Thanks to everybody who came out and was at the Combo Breaker one. It was really fun to do. I enjoyed it. As always, it's a very simple program. I show a clip. A character is in potential mortal peril. I ask a simple question. Will it kill? You all in the chat get a chance to vote. Afterwards, we award the winner. There's no trickery. There's no tomfoolery. It's a simple, honest day's work. I do have a special request for everybody submitting clips for the show. I don't know what you're doing in your house and what's going on with you and your friends when you're playing the game. Do not have a nude mod on the clip. Maybe turn off the Linkin Park or anime opening OST. I cannot use a clip that has something like that. If your clip has an extremely unsavory name, yes, you, the Blanca versus Cami match that was submitted this month, do a little black bar over the name so uh, I can use the clip. Sorry, it was me who submitted the nude mod Cami Mirror with Linkin Park playing in the background for my ladder match. In parentheses, I have a raised slur as a username you know i don't want to call you out you guys all ready feeling good ready for our first clip it's a classic and a distant cousin of mine actually many of you are familiar with terry typhoon but this in fact is terry raccoon all righty then chat room look at him go Dude, he's got the same hat and jacket. It's unreal. He's locked in. Look at his face. His grubby little mitts are on that controller. And you know how raccoons are. They got a little people hands. That's what makes them scary. <laughs> I always start with a kill, so you're voting no. I don't think that's true at all. I mix it up on both the show and the show opening. 66% of the chat believes in Terry. 34% of the chat is uh, not a believer. You guys are trying to boot the demon flipping raccoon. I understand. I've been there myself. I did that exact thing. Let's take a look. Dude, I can't believe he's got a matching. It matches the color. Oh, is he dead? Hold on, no way. Oh. Look at little Terry go. You thought he could survive a B&B &B from Terry Raccoon? Look at him go, look at his little teeth. <laughs> I have to oh say, he's never not killed on this show. One and oh, 100% success rate. Easy peasy little KOF action. Don't worry, I know a lot of you guys are asking yourselves. Where's the Street Fighter? Listen, we're gonna get there. You know how hard it was to put together a show this month? The second half, we were like, are we just gonna put Street Fighter? We don't, <laughs> I don't think anybody played any other game all month, but we got the next one. A game that I'm very fond of. In, in fact, I commentated this game at Combo Breaker, not this exact match. We have Killer Instinct for our second clip. You could probably guess who's gonna get the hit based on the health bars. A little Agonos versus Fulgore. Both of these players uh, are actually close to death, <laughs> believe it or oh, not. Geez. Okay, so we got the one. All righty then, chat room. Letalis, the best Agonos player versus Deadly Kansas, a dangerous opponent. Lock out with a wall behind him. Now, if you guys don't know what Agonos does, he's a giant rock man. He builds a wall behind you and he punches you through it. Literal rock thrower, exactly. He does indeed throw rocks. In fact, he ejects them out of his chest. None of this is made up. Ooh, it's pretty close. 51% of you say yes. 49% of you vote no. I'll go back so Both we can see the players, hit again. Uh, are actually close to death, <laughs> believe it oh, or not. Geez. Okay, so we got the wall behind you. Yep. No matter which yeah, side you go, you're in trouble, lockout. you're in trouble. Shadow spin. You could be dead. It's a level four. He could be dead. Oh, oh my god. A smidge of life he endures. A smidge. Touch. And then. Uh huh. DP. Oh, oh, another. A little double KO finish. Damn you, commentator. Did you get baited? Oldest trick in the book. You guys are going to listen to us. You're going to lose channel points because of people like me. I mean, he was right. He did say close to death. He didn't say it was going to kill. Well, I've got great news, chat room. You've suffered long enough, okay? You made it through two clips. Are you guys ready for Street Fighter? It was probably like 300 Street Fighter 6 uh, clips submitted for the show. We had to wade through them to find what was optimal and drive gauge cancels here and doing all this clip. So let's get into our first clip of Street Fighter, shall we? All 
Alrighty then, chat room. Aren't you guys sick of this Oro shit? I'm kidding. Let me grab the real clip. You guys all ready? Here we go. That was death. I think he would have been dead. All righty then, chat room. Yeah, dude, I mean, you know, I got, I saw a lot of this guy. Submissions open, it was just like, well, well, well. Here's every clip of Big Bird for the last month. It's like, all right, here's every combo he's ever done. And I was like, yep, looks about right. <laughs> Look at this prediction. I see you guys have watched the same footage I have. Interestingly enough, 83% of the vote is in on yes. 17% of the channel points have went to no. He said before the hit that this was death, right? You guys heard him, so let's take a look. That was death. I think he would have been dead. Show me, show me now. I told you that was death. I know my death? character, yeah, that's death. Someone clip this round as well. <laughs> it's that easy, chap. You just simply listen to the guy on the screen and he says, that was death, and then you vote yes. It's easy. This show is so simple. Like, if you've never played before, now you get it, right? That one felt like it had to be included. Everybody wants to see Marissa kill you in one hit, so we were like, all right, all right. There had to be at least one. All right, our next clip, another very high damage character. He's up against Luke from Streets. Let's take a looky Lou. Back to all. All righty then, chat room. Luke from Streets is literally, you can't even see him anymore. All you see is my dude's legs. <laughs> Dude, you look cute. The combo starter was crouching medium punch, EX just cool. I don't buy it, someone says. I like that. He doesn't have CA. I like how you guys are already on to some key things to look at. Is the sun in his eyes? How many meters does he have? What's his drive gauge like? You guys are starting to check in. 40% of you say yes. 60% of you are going old faithful no this time. Not a lot of rock throwing, huh? I like that there's a nice split, some restraint. Also true, DJ is not wearing sunglasses. He is indeed using the old outfit. So let's see. Back throw. Corner situation. Had the defense geöffnet and the damage is crazy. Aui! Meine Güte, was? A little smidge. I told you it was Luke from Streets. It says it right there. And DJ pointing at the air like he did it. <laughs> He's like pointing up at his life bar like, yeah. I'm like, dude, that's your life bar, not his. Three ones, four O's. Everybody seems to be doing okay so far, though. I'm seeing a lot of good scores. I said that. I saw someone say 04. Listen, no one else saw it. It was only me. But DJ's so funny because he just hits you with something. And you're like, oh, DJ looks really cool. After like a couple of weeks of playing this game, I feel like everybody now is like, DJ is not cool. This motherfucker <laughs> hits me and I explode. Like I notice I'm actively not living the more he hits me. That's kind of weird, you know? All righty, our next clip. Are you guys all prepared? Some Zangief. Let's take a look. All righty. <laughs> Then chat room, look at his face. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> He's like, damn bro, that kind of sucks for you. You live like this? Couldn't be me, I'm good on that. That's true. His name does have slay in it. YouTube title tells me it kills. The YouTube title's probably correct. No one has ever mislabeled a video. Have you ever typed out final video.mp4 and then you made an edit and it's like final final for real mp4 and then you make another edit and you're like final draft 1.57 real in parentheses? You're like, this will be the one. And they look at your fucking file after and they're like, are you okay? 71% of the vote is in on yes. 29% of your glorious channel points are in on no. Let's see, I'm curious myself. I love the heavy punch right through too. That's so satisfying. Look at this, bam, the noise. You know, chat room, I can't say that it wasn't close. He was almost there. OTG? Yeah, let me show the OTG. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Cami player holds up, up on wake up. Love that for them. All right, our next clip. Two familiar people. You saw them just a, uh, a couple of clips ago. It's Big Bird and Angry Bird, except there's no Marissa on the screen. Go 
All righty then, chat room. In fact, I'll show you the starter. Everybody's favorite little elbow. Perfect parry from Valmaster. Parry scaling, true. Yeah, the parry scaling means there's no way it could kill. You should just vote no, smile. Vote no if it doesn't kill. Vote yes if it kills. Skull emoji. That's how the game works. 65% of the votes in on yes. 35% of the votes in on no. They didn't know, chat. They didn't know about the scaling. All these rock throwers, they don't even care. Look at how little damage this medium punch did. Let's see. No! Why? Dead. You're not dead, no way. No, I'm dead. That, aside from Perfect Fairy. Yes. He's dead. Oh. That's the exact conversation you guys had in the chat. He said, you're not dead, bro. Why'd you spend it? He's like, yeah, dude, I am dead. He's, he's got me, bro. How could you be dead? It's a perfect parry. He's like, I'm dead. Look, I'm dead. It's over. And he's like, nah. This is the chat room in a Will of Kill episode. You guys have been watching, huh? I saw some people say Valmaster immediately when it popped up. They're like, it's, it kills. He parried a jab from this much life and he died. Imagine if perfect parry didn't scale and he did like 70% off of you doing a jab or something. <laughs> Alrighty, I have to say a lot got submitted of this streamer and I think this person is relatively new to the streaming game but I have to say all of their clips were very funny. They seem pretty good. They should keep this stream up. Might be a familiar face. Oh no! Well, 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 chat room. What do we think about that one? Running 720. Got her head like a whole ass basketball, just vibing. Dude, he's staring her down. He's like, well, 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 you ain't making it the recess. <laughs> it's about to be a real bad test in pre-calculus later. Yeah, yeah, I see you guys saying what era we're in. We are in the modern era. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, you guys didn't notice the, the M up there? Question mark? Notice that my camera wasn't on the whole time. I left it open so you guys could have seen it. Interesting. 58% of the votes in on yes. 42% of the vote is in on no. You didn't see the M up there? You didn't set your, your eyeballs to Wumbo? Kind of weird. Oh no. Well, well, well. It's a good thing you guys didn't notice the M because neither did he. When I watched this clip, I was like, wait a minute. Did he do the real input or no? But I learned something new, which is that while you're running in drive rush, Zangief can just input 720 the whole time. There's like a certain amount of time before he can jump and I didn't know that, which is pretty gnarly. That seems pretty good. How many of you saw modern and were like, ah, it's modern and then voted no? It's okay, I'm giving you an option select. Let's say you didn't notice the modern and you voted no, just say you noticed the modern. Just be like, yeah, I really, I overthought it. I, my game knowledge is so vast. Oh, I got you, don't worry about that. Modern changes damage, no, shh, shh. You knew the whole time. The cool thing about this month is that everybody on the planet has been playing Street Fighter. And what's great about that is that everybody forgot about what I'm about to show you. My man. All righty then, chat room. A little overhead action. Yeah, you guys forgot about him. Every Strive clip that was submitted, I think like all of them, but like one or two, featured this character. And you know, he's a good release for this game show. That's what I gotta say. He can stick around as far as I'm concerned. I'm a big fan of this guy, Asuka. Yeah, he seems to have trouble, you know, walking up a flight of steps or safely making it down a hallway. Not a very durable character to say the least. 65% of the votes in on yes. 34% of the vote is in on no. A lot of you seem to believe he's gonna cling to life. I like that. Yeah, maybe, you know, he's got his inhaler with him. He'll be fine. He can make it up those steps, right? You guys are, you're not just rock throwers of the, the lowest brow, you know? My mana. Shadow wizard money gang. He's My mana! I'm, d I, that's gonna do so much fucking damage. I'm done! Uh, you know? <laughs>
I got bad news. This is basically everybody I think playing this character so far, huh? I was like, all right, this, you know, I'll hit 2D a couple times. You know, I'll just throw some cards out there. Oh, my bad, bro. Why didn't I realize I was in mortal peril with full life? Can we hear the reaction again? You just want to hear it. I'm done. <laughs> no, I'm right there with you. Basically, my entire experience with the character. All right, our next clip. You guys might have caught on to what the next Guilty Gear clip is also going to be. Uh, you know. Well, who can say what'll happen? All righty then, Chowrin. That's quite a bit of life. I'll tell you what, durability is not his strong suit. I like that his lore too is that he's too frail to, to leave his little moon base and go do what he, whatever he's got to do, right? He's like, I'm too much of a dweeb to get out of my rocking chair on the moon or whatever, whatever he's doing. Damn, a lot of you were on the no side and it slowly drifted towards, yes, yeah, it was like 60-40 the other way and now it's slipped over. 55% of the vote is in on yes, 45% of the channel points are in on no. I saw a lot of no way they would show two yeses in a row to this, which I like the mind games. You guys are thinking of the meta of Will It Kill and I like the overall, uh, you know, the thinking, the highbrow thinking, right? That is a lot of life. Ooh. Yeah, too bad it doesn't fucking matter, huh? Imagine just being at like 80% and being like, I'm probably fine. She hit me with 5H, I got 80% life, I got some mana. Probably be good here. What's the worst that can happen, smile? He has so much life and he's got mana up until the last hit, do you see that? He barely loses the mana right here. Okay, bro. R.I.P. Shadow Wizard Money Game. Imagine playing this character in tournament. Could not be me. I don't even smoke. I'd be going through three packs every fucking round of bracket. There'd be no way. Three and six, the comeback starts now. I like that. Oh and one, dude, you just started. You're vibing. Oh and one's not bad at all. This should be no problem. Oh and one just Come means on. the rest. That's a little loud. The rest of the show, you'll probably just get every clip correct right way too dank yeah you're telling me it's a little older this footage you hear plus r how do you guys have the ears of a what has good ears a fox you guys got to get these things tested have you ever thought about being a professional listener all righty then chat room let's check it out all righty then chat room we got a, a little rectangle and a bigger rectangle and some shit's happening on the screen as you may have noticed oh sorry yes let me turn up the quality there we go yes this clip is 12 years old to be fair even 12 years ago someone could have done better audio and video than this but this is probably arcade footage so this is how it goes yes people if you don't know arcune is um if your friend picks arcune you're like oh you're one of those huh i didn't realize that's the kind of uh person you are Pretty close this one. 46% of the vote is in on yes. 54% of the vote is in on no. They don't believe in Arakune. I will go back and play the original hit, which just happened, and you guys can watch the movie. A little curse on you. This character, you know, he, he's, got, he's gotten changed a couple times since he came out. I got a nice history lesson on him from uh, LK, which was very nice. And you can probably imagine why this character got changed. I can't fucking see. Have you tried looking at the screen? Ah, that's fine. Yeah, he, he's cool. Jin survives. It only did about, I don't know, 75% of his life bar from that. So he, he's okay. Probably a real easy comeback from Jin. I'm sure he's vibing. Imagine being me going through all these Street Fighter clips where all the audio and video is like, you know, pretty modern. And I open this up and it just goes and my ears explode. And I'm my eyes squinting at the screen trying to see what happened. And I'm like, OK, this will do. And uh, yeah, that's our first half. We made it through a OK. Everything was smooth sailing. Everybody scores doing OK for the halftime show. We got submitted so much Street Fighter that quite a bit of it actually did make the half. I liked this one a lot. I think it's it's pretty great. Gets the combo into the corner, EX Palm. Is it enough to kill? He's gonna get the juggle afterwards. And the opponent rage quit. I was watching this clip and it cracked me up and they're like, yeah, it was gonna kill, don't worry. You could just use it. <laughs> I like this one too, this one got submitted. It was a fun idea, we were thinking about using it, which is like, 
if if uh, Phoenix will die before she gets popped or not. So like it's off of a throw. As you can see, Ray Ray with no meter. And then there's four bars for Phoenix. And it's whether she'll die before she gets the pop. And the hit that kills her. Look at the meter. Ugh, that is brutal. If she made it to five bars, she's good there. She just pops. I can't control it. And she's fine, right? So that one was really cool. We thought about using that, but maybe a little too hard to, to use for that reason. We also got submitted, and I, we showed the Mike Ross one. We probably had about 10 Zangief level threes submitted because, you know, it's Zangief, right? Like, it does a lot of damage. So this one got submitted. Raw level three against Dalsum. I mean, look at that life bar. That is a lot of life, right? But with Zangief, like, he could do it. With Critical Art, right? A pixel of life. It's so close, right? And then afterwards, he gets Oki. Oh, that fireball staying is real funny, I gotta say. This one also got submitted, and obviously we can't use it for the show. I'm sure a lot of you saw this, but this this made me want to play World Tour mode. Him, him like having to crack some stuff to eat, you know, to try to heal. Calls in Luke. Luke's getting his ass beat. The messed up part is the Hondas in the background are doing like overheads and lows. Do you see the dudes in the background doing overhead and lows in the background? <laughs> oh my god, what the This shit is saying it's burnt out again. <laughs> Luke was like, nah bro, you're on your own. He's like, dude, you look dead. <laughs> He's just like, I'm getting the fuck out of there, bro. I'm not sticking around for this. I also got submitted a couple of these and I thought they were all pretty funny. In fact, in the future, maybe one of them will make it. But it was the avatar battle clips from Obama's stream the timer. where the timer, go there's like two seconds the left on the clock and he gets the SPD and it's like, all right, level 95 versus level 58. I played some of the avatar battle and I, my character is level one. I haven't played any world tour mode. When someone th regular throws me, it kills me. It does my whole life bar. So the SPD damage <laughs> from the level difference, you're like, oh my God, is it going to be enough when a level 58 grabs a level 95 or whatever, right? You're like, all right, let's see. When you see three life bars versus two life bars, you're like, what's going to happen here, dude? This is also an interesting one that got submitted. This is Jamie's EX command grab combo. I didn't know that this is like the best thing you can do after, but in the clip, he just does. Level three. Critical art. And I was like, okay, EX command grab level three is like, that's cool, but it's not going to kill. Look at how much damage that did. Yeah, I think this would have killed any other character, like even Marissa or Honda, probably. Now that we've all cooled down, are you all ready for the second half? We were trying to find clips for this. Everybody submitted Street Fighter. So if you have something silly to submit for next month, Bring it on over. But we did get some nice stuff for this second half, I have to say. It turned out pretty good. We have a game that it's, it's been in the first half and the second half, I'm pretty sure, a couple of times. And also thanks to TNS. Whoop. Here we go. Little Marvel 3. Set yourself up. Nice block. Ooh, he is about to grip him. This guy's in World Tour mode too. On the receiving end of some Hagar. Oh yeah, I had to, I, maybe I didn't say that in the beginning. You shouldn't do a lot of editing on your clip. People think it's really funny. They submit clips where they edit in the pause and then they have like dramatic music playing. And then after the clip's over, they play like a bunch of uh, Please don't do that. Most of the time, the editing makes it harder to use. Just let us use the clip normally. Yeah, there's no X factor. I guess it's over in the middle. I don't know why I even showed the thing. No X factors. The other characters are Magneto, Dormammu. A little easy peasy B and B. 72% of the votes in on yes, 28% of the vote in on no. A lot of you TNS enjoyers out there will have to see. Okay, set yourself up. Nice block and catches the legs. With an optimized confirm here, we're definitely gonna get the kill. It's, it's gonna, gonna be close, nice. he needs a second. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can optimize it to the point, as long as you have full extensions and you optimally spend your bar. And we do. Stalking player. Oh no, chaotic flame. Just enough. Oh, uh, saved. 
by the bell a little light at the last hit so many of you were like oh easy this is the easiest clip i've ever seen he's so dead he's the deadest man on the planet you guys got lucky that the last hit saved your ass the jab at the end oh yeah i knew the whole time i did the arithmetic i got my abacus out i'm a gambling god see that's the problem with this game is that that's how people feel they're like no one's ever done it better than me and then like three clips later they're like hey say jam you uh Got any of those channel points? All right, then, gamers, our next clip. Uh, this usually is in the first half, but we had so much Street Fighter this month that it's a rare second half appearance from Skullgirls. All righty then, chat room. I love rock. I like that message in the chat. Woke <laughs> censored girl. I forgot about that. You know, I read about that and I was like, I don't give a fuck about this at all. And then I moved on with my day. That's pretty funny. 59% of the votes in on yes. 41% of the vote is in on no. Let's take a look. It's Solo Annie with lots of bar. And if you're a Skullgirls player, you know what that means. It's time to power up. Now, I'm motivated. I love that she takes the snapshot. She's like, what's good? It's your girl, like and subscribe. No ukulele in sight though. And the DP for the kill. Little pickup at the end. Volcanic. <laughs> yeah, she had no business being there. What you doing? What's good? What's up? Oh, you just died from full life? Ah, that's unfortunate. This is what it must feel like, huh? Playing solos in this game. You're just like, well, well, well. It'd be a shame if you fucking down. The second half is ruining me. We're only two clips in. You got a whole life ahead of you, okay? A couple clips from now, you're gonna have your fortune piled up from Will It Kill. You'll have all the happiness and life that you can buy. My girl already left me because of this half. Imagine the comeback story when you're like, yeah, but I got all the counter right. She's gonna be like, I've always loved you, and I never cheated on you with your best friend. Our next clip, uh, this is something we've had many times in the show. I think this is a new character. I don't recognize him at all. It's Bookman. I think that's his official name. This is Damon Bride. I don't know how she's being hit, but that is the hit. Alrighty then, chat room. This is the power of reading, huh? This is what it looks like to be in a library. That's Mix? I suppose so. I'm watching and I don't even know how she's being hit. Look at his fucking face too. He's like mad serious. Don't say library. The library. You talk about books and Eris is gonna pop up and beat your ass. 38% of the vote is in on yes. 62% of the vote is in on no. You guys don't believe in books? What do you guys not fucking read? Name 10 books right now. The stupidest thing I've ever heard. I don't even know what's happening, but it is the power of a book. And yet she lives. Instead, look at the corner trap. What you gonna do, motherfucker? What are you gonna do? A man is standing upright with a book and you have a pixel. What you gonna do? <laughs> Lightning's pretty good, I guess. I, you know, of all the things in the world, lightning's pretty solid. I gotta say, I was looking at this shit and I was like, I think she's just dead. What are you gonna do to get out? What are you gonna do? Look at how big the book is. Compared to the rest of his proportion, this is a pretty big ass book. Maybe he's a little guy? True. What if he's like 4'11"? It's just like a little paperback, you know? I chose yes on accident for the last one. This is the people you guys are losing your channel points to. Just think about that. Our next clip is our kind of heart. We've had this on the show quite a few times. I don't know what this character's doing. Cracks me up literally every time I've seen this character submitted. Fucking cartwheel. I don't know why. I don't think I've ever seen a, a fighting game character fight by doing cartwheels. What you gonna do about it? Yeah, she do have the skates. What's that rollerblading movie is from the 90s? Brink? Dude, she could be a member of the team on Brink. Puppin' Suds? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? 81% of you have seen the movie Brink from the 90s. 19% of you are rooting against Team Pup and Suds. Remember when they fell and the gravel like hit the knee and they're like, I can't race anymore. Get up, you got this. You got this, dude. Cartwheel, reverse cartwheel, off the wall cartwheel, double off the wall cartwheel, 
Double pits to chesties with a McTwist over the helicopter. Bang. Break down. That's where I'm at right now. You guys don't want to learn how to do a fucking cartwheel? Motherfucking light kick. Oh, man. Yeah. She did indeed die. She does a reverse cartwheel into a regular cartwheel. Look at this. This is reverse upside down, regular off the wall cartwheel. Bounce cartwheel off the wall. Like, you got all that in the back pocket, no problem. You just hit that shit. Easy peasy. That's some X game shit. It's like the Shaq meme. Like, I wasn't aware of your game. What does he say? My bad, Kansas. I wasn't familiar. Now, this got submitted a bunch. I've seen it at more and more tournaments, which is really cool. I like that there's been so many tournaments for it. And it seems funny every time. We got some JoJo. And that's, for those of you who don't know, that's our level one superhero. Uh, the mash jab, it's time. I love the name Funny Valentine, by the way. Because it just reminds me of Strive. Like, I just imagine, oh, it's the other Valentine, you know. There's Elfel, Ramlethal, and Funny Valentine. He's the president? Yeah, of course. What's the assist? It's this guy with the hair. What's this guy's name? Polnareff? Number one JoJo fan. I love part two. I watched part three, and after like 15 episodes, I was like, and then I never got back to it. The last episode I watched was the monkey boat episode. You guys know the one. I was like, this is fucking some Scooby-Doo shit in, a, in parentheses, nefarious, not good. 38% of the vote is in on yes. 62% of the vote is in on no. That's how I feel about that episode. Let's see. Oh my God. Is that why he has the USA flag cave? Oh my God. I didn't even realize that's why he's got the cave. Why does he whoop, skibbity whoop under it and then flip around and they're in the fucking dojo where Neo fights Morpheus? Like, what's even going on? You gotta dodge that. That's what. That's what. One health. Oh, one health. The pixel. Can he look cowboy? Not only does he not die, he just does wake up super. Love that for him. Like, I guess I'll shoot your dumb ass. Kablam! What is this? So he's the 23rd president? Is that what you guys said? And that's why he's got the the flag with... Is that 23 stars or something? I was about to say, they buffed him to get an OTG. I didn't know he was going to do Why does he do this? He won the popular vote. All right. I could believe it. I'm sorry to hear that happen to you or love that. You know, one of those. All righty, our next clip. Another JoJo clip, which is cool to see. This game is wild. The more I've watched it, the more I've been a fan. Doesn't oh. matter though, Madpaw can get in this damage here. Setting Gets it up. hit, assist Ooh, across the screen. Down. His assist across the screen and he runs over and yeah, right in the face. That shit is so good. A whole horse, he do, he do be having a whole horse. What's that about? Looking like an MK kick. That's a standing three right there if I've ever seen one. You know, that was the best part about getting to try Mortal Kombat early. I was like, hey guys, if you guys have anything you want me to test about the mechanics or the game let me know and someone's like let me know if down three for katana looks stupid i was like this is what you want me to do like i have time with a brand new game all kinds of cool stuff and you want me to just be like all right you're trying to hate frame one on it yeah i, I realize 43 percent of the votes in on yes 57 percent of the vote is in on no. A lot of you seem to not believe. Let's check it out. Matter, though, Matt Pock Look at this confirm. Look at the assist running over on the left side of the screen. He still got it! He I couldn't work from the off screen! He got gappy assist in the center fold. Yeah. G-H-A! Why does he shoot the gun and then sh the shoot the gun with the, the gun? Trio, they're the perfect duo, baby! Can anybody explain that to me? Son. We got the I I sirs of the crowd obeying the command. The shot. He's still alive! What? He's still alive! <laughs> Dude, the commentators, man. He's still alive. Oh, goddamn Mickey Mouse. When you fucking take his ass out back with the keyblade. Wow. <laughs> it's funny literally every time. Does he win? No, I mean, he wins like two seconds later. He's still alive. Wow. He's he still alive. He might have done 80. Yeah. And then the assist picks it up again. He doesn't even do anything. He shot like one bullet. That's all he did. This assist put in all the work, I got to say. How's everybody's record looking so far, huh? You guys doing okay? I lost 250,000 in three clips. Well, you know that means other people gained some of that 250,000. So now they can redistribute the wealth. That's how it works here. We got the trickle down gamble economic. Our channel points, exactly. Now you're figuring it out. The more streamer live, more number go up, you know what I'm saying? All right, you guys ready for our next clip? From a game that's been on here before. 
You guys remember it. And if you don't remember it right away, you'll remember it when you see it. This is Umi Neko. Dude, she got the whole chandelier. She got a shank. She got a broom. Bam! The assist character comes flying in out of nowhere. This game is the glass shattering game. You know the one where like the screen breaks in half and then like there's another combo and then the screen breaks in half? I sound like Chris Who, but that's what it is. His name is Willard. This is my great, great, great grandfather, Willard Kill. He is the one who invented the show. This is true. It wasn't Kugi and Evo. <laughs> it was Willard, Willard Killer. He invented the show many generations ago, yes. During the gold rush. That's why his coat's open. His pockets are full of gold. I'm trying to keep the tradition going, yeah. 83% of the vote believe yes. Are you guys all just voting yes because his name is Willard Killard? It's not Killard, but you guys are all just like, Willard, will do. Is that what happened here? 17% of the votes in on no. <laughs> you guys all voted yes because his name is Willard. <laughs> This is the stupid, the stupidest show on the planet. What do you mean? <laughs> it's James Willard, so you guys are like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, his name's Willard. <laughs> it kill her. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh, damn. My face. Checkmate. <laughs> oh, Willard Killard. <laughs> do you see now? Yeah, I do. Now that you guys said it, it's so true. It did, in fact, kill. <laughs> oh, my face. You guys doing well? <laughs> well, now that we've got that silly nonsense out of the way, are you guys ready for some count -up? <laughs> This show is so stupid. Our next clip. This one's called Ninja Web. Dude, look at the way her legs moving. Kind of moves like Jamie, no? Like she kind of got the. Sorry, I paused slightly to her. <laughs> Doesn't her leg kind of move like Jamie when he walks? You know what I'm saying? You guys kind of see it? I put on the Jamie theme. Like she kind of moving like Jamie, right? You saw how her leg was kind of stanky. It was flopping in the wind. Don't worry, I'll play it when she moves around. 69% of the vote is in on yes. 31% of the vote in on no. Let's see if Mrs. Top Player is here. Tell me this doesn't look like Jamie's leg. <laughs> is she, what is she? Can you explain to me what this creature is? Even the wind bows. What's happening here? What is going on in this cursed aisle? This is what a top player looks like. She's controlled by an alien. A likely story. You guys are all blaming the alien for something that could have been user error, you feel me? We've got another count up. This one's called Wake Up. And I like to think about it like, Wake Up! Nice peaceful little bar scene. Well. That is a large arrow. <laughs> Locked and loaded with his fucking face right there. Point blank, can't miss. Who's getting hit? The person not holding the arrow. Who's got full life. Michelle. That right there, that's a 99% hit chance in VATS. I'll tell you what. The meta changed? Apparently. I missed some meta shifts in Kyanta since the last time I've seen it. 54% of the vote is in on yes. 46% is in on no. It's pretty close. Kyanta, you know... Usually quite a feral game, so I understand the vote. All right, let's go back. And the stun. Jesus, Boko. This is a double decker Boko. I want a double double with Boko right in the middle. With onions and no tomato, animal fry on the side. That's right, that's my in and out order. Minus 46, yeah, I did a little bit of extra damage. Always rock with Kianta. You could, but you know. What if it's a no? Are you guys ready, by the way, for our last clip of the show? We have already made it, which feels, if it, this episode kind of feels like it was a fever dream, if I'm honest with you. There were 17 Street Fighter clips, and then after the 17 Street Fighter clips, it kind of just feels like everything else was like, what the fuck's happening? Final Fantasy 16. You heard the audio for a split second and you knew that fast? It's time for our final clip, TFH.
Well, 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 chat room. Hit him with the reverse. This shit right here is like the end of Cammy's level three. Just cut her neck in half. Where is she? This is the new character, Strong Hoof. Yeah. This is Willard Killard's Fursona. Yeah, it's a modded Third Strike music. It's like the, is it the Akuma theme or something? Which kind of makes this clip even more nefarious, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, it's Killing Moon. Her health, if you haven't seen, it's pretty low. It's right about here. 62% of the votes in on yes. 38% of the vote is in on no. Let's see. What you, what you guys got in the tank here, huh? <laughs> She really does say my flu when she gets hit, huh? Dude, why does he have the storm uh, ultimate move where he pulls you in? And a little dude that beats your ass in the quote retweets? <laughs> what is that? He's got enough hit stun to dash all the way in. I don't understand. And then this little dude goes again. I'm sorry to say, chat room. It does not kill. The last hit is a little chip out at the end. This is a no. All this work. And she lives on a pixel. In fact, as you guys may know in this game, you can check how much health you have left. The person lived with 2 HP out of 5,100. I'm finding the creator of the magic pixel and unmagic pixeling them. William Killard's persona, maybe not as powerful as him, huh? Yeah, the last bit, it says two hits at the end. See, it's a new hit. What is this character even doing? Can someone explain this part to me? What is this? So he's got a little dude, sure. Why does he just get to walk forward right here? What is that? <laughs> Will your Killian's dog is too buff. He's got the actual time stomp. He's got the one vision. I don't understand. I can't begin to explain to you anything that's happening. Well, there you have it, chat. Our second half completed. Everybody's final records. You can drop them in the chat. I see a lot of good records. You guys did all right. And more importantly, you know, hopefully everybody had a good night. Willie Kill is filmed in front of an online studio audience on the last Friday of every month. If you have a combo that you think will kill, submissions open on the Monday before the show. Just go to twitch.tv slash sagejam and type exclamation point form in the chat for details.